All right, so if you're like me, you're tired of all the creepy dystopian ways that Google collects your data. So if you have Google Maps installed on your phone, then Google tracks everywhere that you go. If you use Google Voice Search, then Google records and saves everything that you've ever said to them. And around the web, websites using Google Analytics and Google Fonts are tracking you everywhere you go on the internet. And any website that uses Google Analytics or Google Fonts or any Google service can track you and report back to Google every website that you visit on the internet. So personally, I don't really want to help Google track everybody, track all of my users everywhere they go. So that's why I stopped using all these Google services for my website. So a lot of these are really convenient and they're great services like Google Analytics and Google Fonts are great services that they offer for free but they're not offering them for free out of the goodness of their hearts. They're doing it so they can collect more personal data about everybody that visits your website. So I wanna deny Google uh, the privilege of tracking all of my visitors, so that's why I stopped using all these Google services. And in, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can remove some of the most popular Google services from your website too. You can get by just fine without them. So let's start with one of the easiest ones to get rid of and that's Google Fonts. So I'm sure if you made a website before, you probably use Google Fonts in some way, but you can actually use Google Fonts without using the way that they want you to put it on your website. You don't have to use their code, their tracking code, you can just host the web fonts yourself and put it on your website. So obviously you can do this with any font, but if you like the fonts from Google Fonts, then there's this nice website right here called Google Web Fonts Helper, and you can basically search for anything inside the Google Fonts and you can download it and host it on your own website. And this website makes it really easy to do so. So let's say I type in Open Sans right here. And now you can select any of these fonts like you would do in the normal Google Fonts. Let's say we also want to include this bold font. And then it gives you the zip file to download all the fonts that you can put in your project directory. And then you can easily use them inside your CSS by pasting this code at the top and you can use the more modern way if uh, you don't care about supporting old br older browsers. But yeah, you just copy this and then you're good to go. You can use the Google fonts like you would normally without having it track your visitors. So next up we have Google Analytics, which is a really useful product and it's completely free. Now these other analytics platforms are not free, unfortunately. So you do have to pay for some of these. Uh, Here's a few of my favorites. So we have Matomo, Plausible Analytics, and Fathom App Analytics, which are all privacy respecting analytics platforms. They do cost anywhere between $10 to $20 a month, but a lot of these you can actually self host. So if you have your own server and you don't mind getting into setting it up yourself and doing all the technical work yourself, then you can actually host some of these for free. You just have to set up the database and uh, do all, all the server side work. And obviously it's not as convenient as pasting in just a single line of code like you would with Google Analytics. But yeah, these all protect your visitors' privacy. They aren't tracking them all across the web. And Google Analytics are honestly not even free. You're paying with the data of your customers or users. So it makes sense that you'd have to pay for these. But yeah, if you're tech savvy enough, then you can self-host these. And I actually want to make a video sometime soon showing you how you can set up this on your own server. But honestly, for a lot of use cases, you don't even need analytics. So for my website right now, I don't have any kind of analytics. If you're not like this huge company that needs to A-B test everything that you do, then maybe you don't actually need analytics. Instead, you can track some more relevant data for you, like maybe how many emails, email list subscribers you got or how many sales you made instead of actually tracking everything because Google Analytics just gives you way more information than you would ever actually need. And so sometimes you don't even need analytics for your website. All right, and for Google Maps, a lot of websites like to have some kind of map on their website. Maybe it's a physical business and they wanna show people how to get there. Instead of using Google Maps and embedding that, you can use OpenStreetMap, which is actually what I've been using for a few projects lately. And it honestly works really good even better than Google Maps in some cases. So you can use this and 
In order to actually put it on your website, it's not as easy as pasting an embed code. You'll need to use some kind of development library like Leaflet. And Leaflet is really good. They also have uh, packages for React if you want to embed it inside a React project. So Leaflet React for that. And yeah, it, it basically allows you to uh, put in this code and have a map right here, which works very good. But in, in order to host OpenStreetMaps, you'll need one of these services like Mapbox or MapTiler, which I use, it's pretty good. And they do have a pretty generous free tier. So if you're not setting up anything that complicated, you can just uh, sign up for one of these, uh, paste the code that they give you inside Leaflet, and then you now have an, a map on your website or web application. So that's what I actually use, and it works pretty good. Okay, so maybe you use Google AdSense to put some ads somewhere in your page and make some revenue with that. Say if you have a blog or something, it's pretty easy to use Google Analytics and just put some sidebar ads or something like that. But there's actually a lot better ways to monetize your website. And honestly, if you ask me, web ads are kind of going the way of the dinosaur. A lot of people are using some kind of ad blocker so your visitors don't even see them. And the ones that do are just annoyed by gigantic annoying ads that just take up way too much room in different websites. So instead of annoying your visitors with a bunch of ads, there's some much better ways to make money. You can use Patreon where people can donate to you every month if they like your content, say if you're making a blog. You can sell informational products, say an ebook or a video course. And if you don't want to go through all the trouble of that, you can also just use affiliate links and get a commission by sending people to Amazon or something like that. Or just get direct sponsorships from companies that want to run ads on your website. Maybe you have a very targeted audience and they want to advertise specifically to that audience on your website. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can make money on a website without using Google AdSense. So for videos on your website, you can use Vimeo, of course. That's the most popular alternative. But just not embedding videos on your website from YouTube is just a good solution. So if I have videos on my website, I just leave it as a link to the YouTube video itself. So they're not watching videos on my website and tracking them from my website. They only get tracked on YouTube if I have to point them to YouTube. But if you really want to embed YouTube videos on your website and you can't really get around it, then there are better ways to do it. You can share right here, and when you're embedding a video on your website, you can click embed and enable privacy enhanced mode over here, which still tracks them if they actually click on the video, but otherwise it doesn't track your visitors. So normally it tracks them even if they don't open the video, as soon as they navigate to the page, Google starts tracking them. So this is a better way to do it if you absolutely have to use YouTube videos. And finally, maybe you use reCAPTCHA in order to uh, get rid of spam on your website and maybe uh, have less spammy form submissions. There are other alternatives, say hCAPTCHA, which also has a generous free tier, and it looks pretty much exactly the same as reCAPTCHA. Your visitor is not going to be that inconvenienced by it. It gives you the same pop-up that you'd expect with Google reCAPTCHA where you click on the trucks or the buses or something stupid like that. But it's, it's an effective way to get rid of spam on your website if you're, if you're having problems with that. So that's how you can ungoogle your website. And I've, I've removed all of the Google scripts from my website as well. So if you navigate to my website, you're only getting my website. You're not getting tracked by Google Analytics or anybody else. So I got the idea from this really nice article that uh, Marco Sarik wrote. So if you want even more information or links to all of this, uh, I'll have it in, in the description and also a link to this article, which you can check out. It goes into more detail about a lot of these things, so I'd advise you to check it out. It's a good article. And besides just preventing Google from tracking your visitors, it also speeds up your website because loading in a bunch of resources from third parties is inherently slow and it's just going to slow down your website instead of actually hosting everything yourself. Say if you're loading in fonts from somewhere else, it's gonna be more performant to actually host the fonts yourself and just have it come from the same server. So not only are you making the web more private, you're also making it faster. So it's a win-win-win in my book.